What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and today I will give you some tips and tricks for climbing in ranked arena, especially to get to the diamond rank. And I know, I know, the game hasn't even been online for 24 hours, but I've been grinding nonetheless. So as a former Onyx player and a now diamond placed Halo Infinite player, let's talk about a few things to help you get a higher rank. First, let's start with your placement games. You need to play 10 games before getting placed, and I have noticed some things. There are multiple factors in getting a rank. First of all is winning games, of course, but that is not the only thing. I played all my ranked games with my friends and we all got placed somewhere else. In most of the games I was top 2 fragging and playing the objective. So even if you are losing badly, don't give up and perform as best as you can, it will improve your rank. Also a little tip, if you go to ranked arena, you can choose between open rank and solo duo queue. The difference is, in open rank you will encounter full parties or teams of 3, in solo duo you of course only play against solos and duos. Both of these playlists also have their own rank, so if you are a solo or duo player, play in the solo and duo queue, you will win more games. Let's get into some quick gameplay tips. To win in most of the ranked game modes, you need to frag out. This doesn't mean you only need kills, but assists are good as well. Try staying with your team, even if you don't have any communication. Shooting the same enemy with a teammate will put them down very quickly. You start with the BR and the power it packs is enormous. If you hit 4 perfect shots, the enemy is dead and you get a cool perfect medal. Try focusing on headshots to get the most out of it. And if you struggle with those, focus on getting the most important headshot whenever they are shieldless. One of the most important things in ranked arena are the power weapons and items. For example, the sniper and energy sword, or the camo and overshield. While your team might not get the most out of the power item, you at least don't give it to your enemy. Power items can swing the momentum of the game, so fight for them. Play as a team, it might sound very obvious, but the countless amount of times I have seen players just solo the whole game and contribute very little is insane. Stick around your team or help in fights will drastically improve your win rate. Play with someone you can rely on. The difference in solo and duo queue is very big. If you know someone around the same level as you, play with them. That is at least one less teammate you need to worry about. I hope you found this helpful, I will be posting a lot more Halo Infinite videos, so if you want to get better and improve, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Good luck!